Well, hey, families, and hi, boys and girls, and welcome to Sadie and Corbin, to Emmett and Daniel, to Connor and Brandon, to Lucas and Gabe, and to Esty. Hi to Thomas and Rosie and Charlie, and then to Abby and Hunter, to Prairie and Ada, and then to Benjamin and Clara and Tobias. Hi to Sam and Chloe, then to Eden and Dylan Rose. Hi to you to Logan and Molly and Natalie, and to Georgia and Francis. Hi to all of our kids, whether you're big or little. Thanks so much for watching our video. We appreciate it. Well, I'm looking for Auntie Jan. Boys and girls, have you seen her anywhere? Can you help me? Let's call for Auntie Jan. Auntie Jan! Jan! Hey, where are you? Oh, th well, there you are. Were you listening? I was... I was calling, and we were all trying to find you. That's my first part of the clue. Oh, very clever. Good job. Okay. Mm. So, listening, that's a good clue. All right. What's the next so, clue? Oh, here's the second clue. Ah, we got Mr. Potato Head. I've been working <laughs> on him. He's pretty cute, isn't he? Oh, uh, yeah. You need some help? I. Well, I'll just finish up. Oh, but have we got... Oh, yes, this, there is this something... This last that... part is hmm. the next part of the clue. Oh, yes, boys and girls. What's Auntie Jan putting on Mr. Potato Head? Aha, very good. His ears. Yeah, he's got his ears on. Yeah. Yeah, that's an I'll important clue for here. this story. Yeah, ears Anything? very important. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm And my last part. Okay. Ah, a pillow. Yeah. Oh, you know what, boys and girls? That reminds me. I think it's nap time. Yeah. Oh, what a great idea. But I don't think that's what you're talking about, no, is it? That's the next part of the clue. Oh, okay. So, sleeping and ears and listening. Boys and girls, any idea? Families talk about it? Who do you think we're going to talk about today? Well, here we go. I think we're going to talk about the story of Samuel. Mm -hmm. And you know what, Auntie Jan, is I'm looking, I'm looking at these uh, stuffies, and they've all got their ears on, too. Good job. Look at that. They're all ready to listen. Do you have your ears on? Oh, that's a great question. Are you ready to listen, too? Mine well, are on now. <laughs> so here's our story for today. One day when Hannah, that was Samuel's mom, one day when Hannah was praying in the tabernacle, a priest named Eli saw her. She prayed so hard that tears rolled down her cheeks. She was crying. Someday, dear Heavenly Father, please give me a child of my own. You know what, boys and girls? God listened to Hannah's request for a child. He felt compassion for her, and he answered her prayer. He sent her a son named Samuel. Hannah's heart was so happy, she was full of joy. She was grateful that God listened to her prayers. When Samuel was no longer a baby, Hannah took him to Eli at the tabernacle. Do you remember me? She asked Eli. I prayed for this child, said the mother, and God answered my prayer. I promised God that Samuel would serve him all of his life, so I brought him to you. She dedicated Samuel to the Lord. Eli knelt down and took the boy's hand. I will teach him all I know about God so that he will live for God all of his days. Hannah left her son in the care of the priest, and each year she visited Samuel and brought him a new handmade coat. Samuel lived in the temple with Eli. He learned his lessons well and came to love God with all of his heart. One night while he was sleeping, Samuel heard a voice, and the voice was calling his name. The boy thought it was Eli, so he got up and he went to Eli. Eli said, I didn't call you. Samuel, you can go back to bed. A little while later, Samuel again heard a voice calling his name. Samuel, Samuel. He ran to Eli's bedside. I didn't call you, said the weary priest. Oh, go back to bed. A third time, Samuel's name was called. And a third time, he went to Eli. 
Now Eli realized what was happening. God's calling you, Samuel. If he calls you again, say, Speak, Lord, I'm ready to listen. Samuel obeyed. He crawled back into bed. He waited and he listened. Samuel, Samuel! <coughs> this time, the boy didn't go to Eli. Instead, he answered the voice. Speak, Lord, I'm your servant. I'm ready to listen. God told Samuel about things that would happen in the days to come. And Samuel listened very carefully. From that night on, God spoke clearly to Samuel. And as Samuel grew up, Samuel respected his heavenly father's words and directions. And the people of Israel knew that Samuel was a good man of God. Here are some things that were God's message to Samuel. Samuel, be still and listen. I'm calling your name. My people need a strong new leader. And Samuel, I've chosen you. You will be a wise prophet for them. Through you, they will hear my words and they'll follow me. And boys and girls, that's the story of Samuel. Now, our memory verse for today, it's a really good verse, and it comes out of 1 Samuel chapter 3, verse 10. Ready? 1 Samuel chapter 3, verse 10. And it says, Speak, Lord, I'm listening. Okay, try it again. Speak, Lord, I'm listening. Very good. Let's take a moment and pray, and Auntie Jan's going to tell you about some resources, some crafts, and a game that you can play. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your words. Thank you for listening to us. And we ask that you would open our ears to hear your voice and to obey your words. Help us to listen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Auntie Jan? Okay. Hmm. Well, I just want to encourage you boys and girls. God speaks to you, too. Yes. And when God speaks to you and tells you something, don't be afraid to say it to someone because God uses children in their lives as well. And that's a wonderful thing. Thanks, Auntie Jen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the um, video you can watch is God's Story, Samuel. There are a couple of them on Saddleback Kids as well, but that one by God's Story just encompasses the whole thing. Yeah. So the craft that we're doing this week is we're going to be making a pillow. Nice. So I made these for the Kids for Children's Church, but um, sewed them together. But you could do it out of construction paper or whatever and stuff it with something. You can use paper towels or newspaper or something like that. Just stuff it however you want and just says, Speak, Lord, I'm listening. And then decorate your pillow however you'd like. So Very that's good. a craft idea. That's an awesome craft. And the game <laughs> you can play if you have enough people in your house you can whisper something into somebody's ear and then pass it around the circle and see if you get it right when it comes back to you. <laughs> see how well people are listening. Yeah. And sometimes what you start with isn't what you finish with. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. see, that's a, the listening game and it might be kind of fun to do. Exactly. Thanks, boys and girls. Thanks, Auntie Jan. Just like we do every week, take your hands and put them right out in front of you, cross them over your chest, and give yourselves a really big hug. One of the fun things that we have been able to do, if people are ready, is to do a hug on Sundays. Boys and girls, we love you so much. God loves you very much. And we just hope you stay safe and have a great week. We'll see you again next time, okay? Goodbye, boys and girls. Goodbye, families. See you later. Bye.